Hi, my name is Sofia Jimenez and I watched the film Asian Women Slay the Dragon. In this film, Asian women are seen as villains and also known as exotic, sensual, and mysterious. I personally feel like the stereotypes presented in my documentary portray kind of a role as in today because, for example, there's like Asian fetishes and stuff like that with women. Like guys would be like, oh, I like her because they have an Asian fetish, which is a stereotype that is portrayed in the movie and today. I also feel like, sorry, um, today Asian women are known for pampering their men, which is something that was in the video. For example, all of the major roles in movies were given to white people, which are changing nowadays, but are still kind of a main priority versus any other race. Um, some major points in minute 20 to 40 was that all Asian Asians gained acceptance in mainstream America. A lot of Asian women got jobs on camera, such as anchor and news. And nowadays we see more racists being brought onto anchors and news and many other jobs that when it had been portrayed as an Asian woman back then. Um, in this movie, the film was insens insensitive to female characters, which is true because it was, the movie was called Asian Woman Slay the Dragon. Um, along with that, I feel like um, this movie is very, the representation of the Asian woman in this film is over-sexualized, pleasure-giving, and submissive, which is very not okay to us women, but it was a movie not made recently, for example. Um, two stereotypes that are presented with Asian Americans in this film is the victim, and they need to be saved, or a dragon lady who is very powerful and sexually proactive, which is doesn't really, doesn't really seem right to me. Um, this documentary mostly highlights how Asian American women are portrayed in movies. It is trying to make the viewer gain a better sense of understanding how Asian women are presented in movies. When they see these stereotypes in movies and the media, they will better identify how these women are basically portrayed. Some stereotypes about the people in the movies are that they are looked on exotic, mysterious, and sensual, and submissive, like I said earlier, um, and they usually go for white men. Um, in some movies, such as military movies, these women are over-sexualized and portray portrayed as objects as well. I feel like the main point and idea of this repeated several times throughout the documentary was... Um, Oh, sorry, I lost my notes for a second. Um, most of the people that were being, being interviewed throughout this was an Asian woman in the film. And I feel like the other interviewers are educated and have a lot more knowledge of what's going on. Basically, after I finished the film, I had a little bit of questions like, where does the over-sexualization of Asian women come from? Because now we watch animes nowadays and I don't know if anybody else that was watching this video has seen like an anime before, but it always tends to have Asian woman with like bigger breasts, like sometimes skin showing, like everything. And it really over sexualizes them. And where did this, where did this come from? Very much. And then also, um, how can we change the way we portray Asian women in movies? Because there is that Asian fetish and maybe that is why they dress these women up and draw animes and all that stuff as over-sexualized. But that is also one question I had at the end of it. I also feel like... Sorry. Where's my notes? I also feel like... Um... 
Oh, um, an image that I saw from Asian women being in this movie is that they cook, clean, massage, and serve these men in a sense. And also the white people call Asians Orientals. And in the movie, Nobu McCarthy's role in Walk Like a Dragon was a slave girl. And it's like, why, you know? And, um, sorry. Since the repeal of the Chinese Exclusion Act in 1943, Chinatowns were thriving communities in 1960. This was after the time before that. And Asian women are portrayed as objects for these white men in films. As we learned earlier in this class, we learned how white men are at higher value, have higher power, and how they were just slaves to these men as much as any other race that has been slaves to a white man. Um, Asian Americans have been most quiet, and they also protested against how the Year of the Dragon movie depends on the uh, depicts Chinese Americans as gangsters. This film was also insensitive to female characters because it very it, it downgraded how women are and especially Asian women in this film. Um, Asian women have usually fallen in love with white men in these movies, which is kind of like, okay, they fell in love with men for higher power and all that stuff. Adding on to that, this movie was very sexualized and very submissive and pleasure giving and all that but it that's mostly what I learned from the movie it was just definitely how Asian women were portrayed in movies um it is trying to make the viewer gain a better sense of understanding how Asian women were presented in these movies back then especially how um sorry human how toxic masculinity is like toxic masculinity is definitely something that is shown nowadays but was definitely shown back then as well it's like we're trying to change it up a little bit in this newer generation about how to be independent and that is definitely something that was something we see present now but definitely shown in the past and all that stuff but nowadays we're trying to change this and make it more equal towards women and men especially any race of woman and any race of a man it's it's it should be equal especially they are also um sorry my notes it is it's definitely my opinion that oh sorry Back to the e equality and stuff. That is definitely my opinion in a sense. It's not everybody else's. But that's also what I learned from this film. Thank you.